Hello YouTube. Um, honestly, I just wanted to show you guys how installing mods really works. Like the, f I'm just gonna use Sekiro as an example because it's kind of the easiest one. But in my opinion, it's pretty simple. Um, you just want to go to Nexus Mods and make an account. And I'm gonna break this down like very like specifically because there's not many videos for it and it's kind of hard to. Uh, I never really found a guide for it so I had to figure it out but if you're on second row like I am you need this you also need something like 7-zip you know to extract it or WinRAR so just get that pretty simple so you get this and follow the instructions follow these instructions alright cause you need to change anything and I'll show you what this means alright cause I already did this alright so you go into the files Alright, hold up, let me switch it real quick. Right. So you go into your files, right? And when you make this mod folder, you gotta go to the, the file um, for the mod engine and change it for the name of the mods folder so that the, the engine knows what folder it needs, you know? Right, but you just go to your files for Sekiro and make um, a mods. And you want to make a parts, right? It needs to say parts. You need to have another folder called parts. And then when you get a mod and you bring it to your desktop and you extract it, you take those files. You take you, it should be one folder. If it's not a folder, you put it in here, right? If it is a folder, you can put it in here. Load up the game. Doesn't work then put it next to the parts folder right but try both cause sometimes it'll be a little weird either one should work um, unless you're doing I'll show you unless you're doing the resurrection mod this one's a little weird but this mods pretty fun you wanna take the resurrection mod itself like the extracted files and it's not gonna have one single file it's gonna be like five or six different folders and then you want to put those next to the parts one just inside the mods not inside of parts right and then it'll work so it just kind of depends each one's a little different you just gotta kind of play with it um, if it doesn't have a folder, it just has the files, you put it in the parts. If it has a folder, you try putting it in there, it doesn't work, put it next to it. If you're doing resurrection, I know for a fact it's all of them are outside of it. Right, just letting you guys know. But there's going to be like a lot more of them. It's like six six or something. It's a lot more folders. But yeah. There's pretty much a lot of different mods you can get on here, I guess. Um, Really your choice. I'd recommend... I've heard that this one's good. I've never tried it, and I've heard this one's good, and I played it. It's really fun. Makes the game a lot harder, though. To be warned. Yeah, Th that's just about it. I just wanted to show you guys how to like functionally do these mods. Cause there's not a lot of people. They'll show you how to extract it, and put it in the mods folder, but they don't explain too well how to do it fully. And for me, it's it's a lot easier because they'll, they'll tell you like in here. It kind of gives you all these instructions extract it right all this but it's easier if i show you how to do that all right for me and i never really had any money so this this following this was difficult for me that's why i'm making this tutorial yeah that's it